What is up, everybody? It is me, Tom Sano one here, and today we are back for our f our last and final goof episode before we do the grand finale this Friday. Don't forget to uh, subscribe for more content so you can watch that, and we'll be doing it in parts. But this is the final episode of this season. This was given. This was a request given to me by a fan. Uh, I typically go through the uh, go through the episode before. I do the video, but I had only gotten halfway done before I needed to do something, and I figured now is probably going to be the only time I get to film this before I have to go do things t uh, tonight. But um, anyways, without further ado, this is James and the Queen of Sodor, and I figured something out, by the way. Um, if you are a, in, the, in the U.S. and you are a YouTuber who does Thomas the Tank Engine stuff, use the U.K. Use the UK version of Thomas the Tank Engine. Don't use the US because they will try to copyright you and you they cannot copyright you for using it from a different country. So uh, let's, without further ado, let's get into this video. The engines on the island of Sodor want to be responsible. Okay. Reliable. Something I like about the UK version as well is they kept the Mike O'Donnell and Junior Campbell uh, they kept those, uh, the, uh, what should we call it? the, not the orchestra, but they kept the, uh, the songs that they had written into season seven. And it was only in the UK because after the, after season six, the U S started to take over their version of Thomas the Tank Engine. And then we no longer saw that. And I it just so happens I paused it right on a goof. This is his shot from season three. Uh, I believe it's Oliver owns up. So but uh, that's just that's pure, just pure coincidence that I sh that I paused it right at that moment. But that was just a little tidbit and a goof. I'm really useful. They are this is also a, this is also from this is from season four. That's from season four. James thinks his work is very important indeed. He is proud of his that's red from season paint six. and likes to look clean and smart. One day, Percy puffed to the washdown. My whistle's clogged. He tried to blow hard to clean it out, but instead blew mud all over Gordon. That's from Shelly Percy's Chocolate Crunch, those sounds. Percy was trying not to laugh. You can see the little Keep bit of the lights and the reflection of the I'm eyes. I'm collecting the mirror today. I should do that. Really? Chuckled James. You'd need a washdown first. Ah, snorted Gordon. James just laughed. Soon James had collected the mare and puffed proudly away. Just look at me, Gordon. Don't mind the background noise. That's just the, uh, Show off, that's just Gordon. my heater kicking on. The fat controller came to the shed. I need an engine to collect the okay. queen of... Okay, so Sodor. something that, uh, there, let me... Scooch back just the hair. Okay. Show off. Uh, the fat controller came to the shed. I okay, so I have something to say here. There was a guy, I think it was James the Red Engine. I can't remember the last. I can't remember this YouTuber, but I know it's James the Red Engine something. But, um, so there are, there's a lot of conflictions in, that I saw in one of his videos. These are not the driver and fireman, nor are they, these are station masters, or they're Sir Topham Hatt's bodyguards, because he's a well liked figure. You got to have some protection there, man. Uh, I looked this up, and those are station masters. They come to make sure that when jobs are given, they are able to make sure they know who's going to be arriving and who's who's not. So, in there was an episode he did, and I, I just have to point that out. I. Uh, Please don't take it as an offense or anything. It's just one of those. These are these are station masters. They're not drivers and firemen. Need an engine to collect the Queen of Sodor. Who's the Queen of Sodor? Okay. A leaky old barge, replied the fat controller. She needs to go to the workshops. It's dirty work, I'm afraid. Just then, in the ba in that last shot, you could see uh, camera reflections in Thomas's eyes this or light Gordon reflections. You can also see it in Gordon's eyes as well. The Queen of Sodor. Important oh, you can see too. three. Very important work. Do I have a volunteer? Very important work! Exclaimed Ooh. Jack. Ooh. 
That's a good one right here. Can anybody tell me what's going on with this right here? There's an issue right here. James's face is not on the model correctly. You can tell because the face is slid slightly to the right. You can tell. And there's three different light sources on the eyes. One, two, three. So, yeah. Then it's settled. She's waiting at the canal. Thank you, sir said James. God was delighted. His plan was working. I'm here to collect the Queen of Sodor, announced James. There she is, said the yard manager. James was furious. That old top! Huh. Gordon tricked me. He, he used that me sound effect dirty. twice. I'll show him. A shiny engine like me never gets dirty. Soon, James set off with the Queen of Sodor. It was a long journey to the workshops. Shiny and clean, shiny and clean, puffed James. Then there was trouble. The tall funnel of the old barge crashed through a pipe. James was sure he'd get If you in uh, lower down that, you'll didn't. be able to hear the. Uh, you'll be able to hear some of the original sound effects that they did for the show. Shiny and clean, shiny and clean, he declared again. The workmen soon cleared the mess, and then James was on his way. There's Toad. There's Scrap Model Toad, and I believe. Hold up. Okay. Check this out. There's one of the old models for Donald and Douglas. You can, I can you can tell because of the um, because of the footboard right there. You can tell. That's really interesting that they used one of the old models for Donald and Douglas as, as a piece of scrap. I haven't seen that. When James returned to the sheds, he was very proud of himself. How did you manage to stay so clean? I have to stay clean. You can see a lot of the light reflecting in the eyes. Just then, Percy returned from the quarry. My whistle is clogged again. Watch out, James. Dust went everywhere. I did warn you. You'll need a wash down now, teased Thomas. Good, snorted James. It will make me readier than ever. I'm such a splendid engine. Okay. So there were quite a few, there were a few goofs in there, a lot of tidbits, little, uh, little nods to the TV show. I think that was really nice. Um, something that I really, that I really like about the UK versions is that they use the original soundtrack that Mike O'Donnell and Junior Campbell used in between series, uh, five, four, five, and six. And then they just, in the UK, they used the most of that same soundtrack for season seven. I'm not sure if they did it in season eight. I haven't looked into that yet, but I know the in the U.S. versions uh, they stopped using uh, that sound that soundtrack for the TV show right after season six finished, and they came in with a new studio producer and said, "Hey, guess what? We're going to be changing the music for the U.S." Why they only chose the U.S. I'm not sure, but. There were quite a few goofs in that, and I still think this is... A, I think it's a good episode, because they um, because they use the same soundtrack, and they are actually sticking to quite a bit of interesting stuff here. And I just noticed this. Duck's eye is really wonky. Like, really, really wonky. Like, I don't know if you can see that. Duck looks kind of crazy there. But, 
Alright. Uh, anyways, thank you for watching. This is uh, Thomas Nano one saying don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell somewhere on here or wherever it is above. And don't forget to drop a like on this video. And don't forget to leave a comment down below so you can so I can figure out what goof seat you want me to do for next season. Man, it's great to say next season. Uh, next season after the finale, we ha I have planned to do that sometime around June. So right around June, July, right around there, you'll be seeing uh, more Goofs episodes. And I have to say uh, thank you all so much for watching this, this show. Uh, there is something I haven't addressed completely yet. Uh, one of my videos has reached over 8,000 views. That is a lot of views. Uh, and it's in my Goof series. I believe it's in, se in season one. Uh, yeah, so season one, uh, the episode is called Goofs in Percy's Chocolate Crunch. So if you're new to that, new to my, if you're new to my channel, go and check that out. It's, if you just type that in, I'm the first video that comes up. Thomas Fanta 1, that's the first, I'm usually the first video that comes up. So, anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to keep playing with them trains. Don't forget it.